Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize if the quality seems a little bit lower than normal. And that is because the Primus Live developers decide to handicap any Samsung devices or older devices like the S21 Plus, which is a flagship phone. They decided to bottleneck the capabilities of live streaming. So now I'm not able to live stream on my Samsung S21 Plus and 1080p 24, 30, or even 60, even though I wasn't able to use 16 in the first place. So with that said, everyone, this is the Primus Live developers, and I want them to know that this is a very unfortunate turning event for you to handicap my ability to live stream in 1080p on a stable public and city Wi-Fi. So, and I tried every single frame per second. It kept saying, even in 1080p 60, it kept saying, you have to go back in 720p, everyone. So, this live stream is in 720p. So, take it with a grain of salt. So, with that said, everyone, I want to talk about what just occurred in the last, like, 48 hours, and I want everyone to understand that uh, it's not it's not my intentions to harm someone or cause m mischief because someone in the public eye feels that they are obligated to tell me what to do and how to live my life when I'm age 44 and I've been living my life ever since I didn't need permission from a stranger in particular to violate my human and my civil rights to restart my life over as someone that's facing houselessness and homelessness. But, you know, violent discrimination against my last employer and that's an ongoing situation. And I know some of you have heard or have talked to some of the people in the audience and, and I'm going to tell you from experience. People like that don't want to see growth in others. Mind you, everyone, I'm starting my life over. I'm not even wanted, I don't want to do any counseling, no city, no government, no state department, no consulate, no embassy work. I don't want to do any more city collaborations or try to make a difference, which I already did make a difference. You can see that on my website, you can see that in my documentaries in the past, you can see all the work I used to do for other organizations, but now, and since the pandemic, what these folks don't want to tell you, everyone, is that if you look back during the pandemic, and I made live streams during the pandemic and upload a video. We gave giveaways away. We helped people stay inside international hostels. If you guys don't know what a hostel is, I grew up on a hostels when traveling when I was like young with my parents. So take this with a grain of salt. Hostels are for people that do not live 100 miles within the city limits, that are outside the city limits actually, that can stay at these places. So that means if you live in New York City and there's a hostel in New York City, you cannot stay there. That's a, and these are the rules for every city across the nation or across the globe. All hostels have rules, okay? To keep, to keep the locals out and keep people that are traveling safe. But even that could be a problem when you have other travelers trying to cause problems with other travelers. But what people are not telling you is that, uh, listen, someone recently named Bill Lewis, he, like I said yesterday in the live stream when I was in Starbucks, and I wanted to make a live stream now to talk about these ongoing harassments that's been taking place because I went public on invisible people. Now, Mark and I talked first and got to know each other before we even, like, decided to like collab on this because it's important that because we used to do jobs that help these type of corporations run mind you so mark was in film and i was also in film and photography as well but he was a camera guy and then like but difference is like i don't have a drug or an alcohol addiction problem i don't have that right now 
and I don't ever want to because I didn't have that before anyway. When back in 2014, things turned for the worse, and I kind of went on a drinking spree with sake and soju in another country. But you know, I immediately rapidly just recovered within months, like easy. Like you know why? Because that was just how the the mentality of who was raising me, not because what city I'm from, who was raising me. So, disclaimer everyone, I am a foster child. I am adopted. And that doesn't mean that I have to follow, as an adult, my foster or my adopted parents' rules or set of bylaws, I call it. So, most of you already know, some of you already have spoken on this channel from Wisconsin, to clarify my stories, some of you, and this is why people don't watch content in full. They just want to make speculation. And this is why I verified everything on social media, Instagram, Facebook, in my LinkedIn. I verified everything, and that's right, that that entitles for you to upload all your passport to identification, your your IT, I, in number or your social security work number that requires everything that you need to put in and information private information like where you live and address sometimes and all that information needs to be applied to order to get verified and someone looks at it but the thing I got verified is that I don't have state IDs I have passports so it is much easier for me to get verified when I'm using federal credentials, which are technically under federal law, ownership of federal law, which is government. You don't own your passports. You never do. Even doesn't matter how much you pay for it. You never own your passport. So with that said, everyone, I've been struggling trying to get a, a sense of like it's time I moved on I went from Wisconsin Winnipeg Seattle Portland San Francisco Mountain View LA Santa Clara Santa Barbara San Diego you know I went to all these places ladies and gentlemen and I couldn't find a place where I wanted to settle and I was like you know what let's go settle back in New York we lived there before let's go try to check, do this one more time it shouldn't be that bad. But when we get here, it's bad. And I want to say hello, David, from Australia. David Austin, thank you for watching, friend. But, um, yeah. And now, I'm getting all this... Here's the whole seclusion right now, everyone. I'm getting a lot of harassment for the wrong reasons. I don't want to throw this on. I'm getting, the, I'm getting harassed for the very wrong reasons of me being transparent. Now, I, I shared the email that Bill Lewis said. I'm not near transparent, he says. So, if I'm not transparent, the, uh, so I want everyone to get an understanding if I wasn't so transparent, and this is where he failed to realize between the lines as an individual, as an adult, he wants to play games. I don't. I don't harass him, everyone. That is the key element here. No one is harassing him, but he is harassing someone else. Considerably too much to a point where it is called literally stalking. It's harassment to a point where you causing someone to have a mental health breakdown because you won't stop dwell on the fact that someone like me was honest and brave enough to ask you or the audience and all the people for a given help from time to time and not only that to support the channel and people took this sentence that I always implement in my videos as a way of saying that I'm berating my audience or I am a drifter defrauding my audience. Now, you guys know that the honest reviewers and the honest people that watch this, my videos, that 
I share every single moment and every single thing. And yes, when some videos do go live, when there's an emergency, I put it on unlisted because only members are allowed to see unlisted videos. So for Bill Lewis' answer to his why he's blocked and why he can't see videos because videos are some of those videos people actually literally give a super chat for from time to time and they pay to want to see it so it goes unlisted and no not everyone can be a member because I check memberships so with that tell everyone and what Mr. Boo Lewis and what you guys don't understand is that if I was someone defrauding, this, defrauding you or the system, why I am not on EBT, why I'm not using homeless services, why I'm not freaking uh, uh, out here panhandling with a sign telling people that I have two children and, 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 a, and, two, and a baby on the way, like you see most of the time on the streets now. That is a glister. A person that's defrauding people based on the assumption that they're, they're not telling the truth. I'm not solicitating in that fashion at all. I'm asking my audience and asking the people that dislike these videos at the same time. And all transparent from word to word from out my mouth when you see me. Is that can you help me get through these hard times? Are you capable of doing that? If you're not, you shouldn't do it. But all you have to do if you're not able to is like and share the content and hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment so people know that you support, you hear in solidarity. But no, it's too hard for people like Bill Lewis to do that. When he first came to this channel, everyone, he was being very genuine. At, but the more he donated, everyone, the more he started taking advantage of that donation and thought that he had the power to say what he wanted to say and disrespect who he wanted to disrespect. And it's not like that here. This is Panda Nation. It only should be focused on me, but he took it in out of spike, mind you everyone, as I said, he was blocked, unblocked, twice for the reason that he was given a second chance and he blew that second chance. But I'm being harassed and, and people are trying to stop my growth of starting over. Point simple. Why are people disliking or disapproving on the fact that I, I'm being honest about homelessness. I'm not out here solicitating on EBT. Now that's a grifter. Someone that uses the system and then sells their food stamps for cash. I'm not even near on that. I gotta survive with only the support that I get for my channel and for what I do as a photographer or a videographer. And yesterday, Mr. Bill Lewis left a very distinctive comment and review on my website saying that I shoot with old cameras, amateur at best, go elsewhere, right? But people can see right through that like, dude, you sound like a hater, you sound like a troll, you sound like someone that disapproves on this one guy. At least he's take, dude, I wouldn't have never thought he would have took that photo with that camera. That's the whole concept. When people ask me every single time, oh, what camera were you using? It looks so crispy sharp. Oh, I'm using Canon 70D. He's like, no way. Yeah? And the trick is always, always, always set your white balance. That is always the trick. Always set your white balance. So with that said, everyone, he calls me a fraud. I'm not a, I'm not a professional. Yes, I am. 
I know more knowledge about photography than you do, friend. I had Canon cameras with software that literally legit by Magic Lantern Raw that's available online. Not many people can read scripts and can really, really program a camera. You ha if you do this, guys, and this is what, this is why I have a s several videos on why Magic Lantern Raw is needed and not needed. It's a dangerous software that where you can break your Canon cameras for good. Can, I want to know, uh, can he do what I just did? Can, can he follow simple directions and go ahead and do something like that and educate other people how to do it? Because I kept doing it, not just once everyone, I kept doing it multiple times so I know the system how to do it and how to do it correctly. I've proven myself I can never brick a camera with Canon. Because <laughs> all you have to do is follow simple instructions. So with that said everyone, at best I'm an amateur, he says. That's fine. At least I have a, a, a title. At least I have a title. I'm a ph photographer. Everyone's an amateur. <laughs> Everyone is an amateur. Ain't nobody got badges that says pro photographer on them. That's just, you can name yourself pro photographer anytime you want. No one has official badges that says I'm a pro photographer. Unless you are categorized by a tier one brand like Canon, Sony, Pentax, Fuji that says you're a pro photographer. And they label you as a pro photographer. Or a newspaper that literally, in categorization and cats, call you a pro photographer. So with that said, everyone, I could take amateur at any time of the day, friend. But ladies and gentlemen, this messes with my mental health. This messes with everything I'm trying to strive for. It literally f destroys my concentration when someone literally tries to make my life worse as I'm living out here as it is in the cold every single day this whole entire winter and then some parts we went inside the hostel we spent a lot of money that I made working for these studios my own money and then Michael donated Collins donated then sometimes it would be Jonathan that donates a little five dollar here ten dollar there Right? And what we do is, we go to a grocery store, we go to, while we at the hostel, everyone, and ask anyone at the hostel, I cooked for a young lady, and then she goes behind everyone's back and steals everyone's food. But I'm the one spending donation money, as I told her, this is from my audience. My audience donate money, I cook, and you said you were hungry, so there you go. And I brought beer for everyone can share, so we can all have a conversation, sit down, get to know each other. And that's what we did, right? And then she goes and do, does that and steals everyone's food for the last few days. And it's a video that I unlisted about this. And I unlisted for the reason because, one, my friend owns that hostel. And I don't want bad publicity. I only made the light the video just to prove that the person should never try to abuse a system that was meant to help her. We were helping her, not just me, all of us was trying to give her because we found out that she was, didn't have it. So I asked Bill Lewis, why can't you do the same? And these people and myself, we, don't, we didn't even have it, but we still gave to help someone else in need because we got helped why not help someone else? That's the mentality that he can never get to understand or transpire because he's not in this situation, everyone. He's not living out here in 10 degree weather. He's not living out here in 20 degree weather. He's not trying to figure out how he's gonna stay warm, how he's gonna take a shower every day, how he's gonna get the fungus off his feet or if his feet has fungus because when you don't wash your feet for days at a time, you gather fungus, it's something that I have learned. Because I thought 
I was in, impenetrable. Like, oh no, I don't sweat, I don't blah, blah, blah. I don't stink like that. That's not true. I'm human, I, I bleed like you, I shit like you, I pee like you. I will, I will funk, I would get diseases just like you. I am no special. And that's what happened to me, everybody. And now I caught frostbites this year now. On my feet, on my toe, and it hurts right now. You know how devastating it is hurt to walk every single step and have that right now? It hurts. But I gotta keep pushing for it. But Mr. Bill Lewis here wants to tell you and convince you that I am a fraud. If someone gave me an opportunity to do some portraits, I guarantee you, I take that Irish 150 like I do to my other portraits and ask any person I did portraits with, they tell, oh, Panther's fun. I am fun. I like to have fun. I like to ask you what you want to do. What do you want to, what do you want to wear? Let me see your outfit. I judge you because I'm a girl too. Because I grew up with a lot of women. So I understand what women want. This is why I'm not in a relationship because I'm still not entirely done with my grieving over E. Lee. Like I said, everyone, I've been a victim of too much hate crime in this country, particularly. I had my face burned. I spent 30 grand getting my face repaired. A skin graft. If you've seen it, my face. Women pour hot water or hot substance in my face. And while well, I was in Milwaukee in 2021, and that was... That was a, a rough three months, and I had to, listen, ladies and gentlemen, the, rough, the first 60 days were rough. The third, first 30 days were not even, not, not even rough. I cannot describe it. It was just like awfully painful. You can't sleep because the pain is just there. Your, your roommate tries to comfort you. He has to put ointment on your face because it, it burns. Yeah, it, it was just a point where, like, it was money that I could still have or could have invested in something, could it have got new cameras. But let me explain, Mr. Bill Lewis, why we shooting on older Canon cameras. Because the cameras that I had, and everyone knows this already, were Sony and Nikon and a Canon, right? And all was stolen. So we went to B&H in 2022 right and we we thought about a, a budget let's get some canon cameras and i want to practice this magic lantern hack software i'm going to spend a minimum of like when i bought the canon camera 7d it was 310 i bought the 70d it was i think 389 and but the, here's the thing it had all both cameras had low actuations on them they were in condition of 9 plus and a low actuation, under 5,000. So I was like, yes, I want this. So Mr. Blue Lewis, I made a good investment by hacking those cameras to shoot 14-bit raw video. And every video that you see me post, not every video, but every short film you see is from using Irix lenses, Raven filters, and the Canon cameras. I would like to get a Sony again, like the A6300. I still got my eyes on that. And that's an older camera, but what you fail to realize that the A6300 has how many focus points on them? David Oster, what is it, 493 across the whole, what is it, 94% of the display? So imagine doing video with an autofocus system like that when from my 70D that only has what uh, 45 and my 70D has what I don't know I forgot to count you get what I'm saying here everyone I'm jumping up but still an older Sony mirrorless camera that came out back in what 20 what was that 2014 15 A6300 same time with Canon 70D, still here, Canon 7D was still around. And he has the nerve to call my cameras 
older Karens at best. Yeah, and I brought new life to them with my education. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to trick you and seduce you into believing me. I always ask my audience and ask you to rewrite between the lines, go to my social media accounts, and you'll see it all. you see everything, especially on the link end. There's a trail history on the link end. So, I can't remember, but it's a lot. Yeah, it's 493 focus points on that camera, David. Yeah, it's a lot. And that is what I saw on B&H for $510, $510, and nine plus condition with only 473, 407, what is it, 400, 4,766 actuations it's claiming. So I was like, wow. But here's the caveat. Caveat, no battery. <laughs> but I have batteries for the Sony cameras. I still have them because I just kept them just in case I would get a Sony camera. Because my Sony cameras were to stolen, so I kept the Sony camera uh, batteries. So, hey Panda, I hope you're doing okay, even with all the craziness. James Muckham says that, everyone, I'm doing okay, James. I'm just trying to survive and do the best I can. And I want to explain to people that, like, you have to avoid all the nonsense that you'll be reading on the comments, on my reviews. I want my audience and I want the customers and clients that take my services as a photographer or doing short films or helping with doing short films or doing interviews, recording interviews are some of my best things I do. I, guys, I used to run a podcast through the pandemic, a live podcast and broadcast that on YouTube. We talked about Jacob Blade, we talked about the incidents that's going on with Black Lives Matter and what was going on now and the Asian hate crime as a victim, as someone that advocates for Asian hate as well as Black Lives. I just want to want everyone to know like I support those agencies also I support everyone in solidarity but when you break that trust that's when you lost all credibility like Sunway Photo a brand that I thought I can trust and they still haven't replied everyone I know very um, unprofessional for a brand that refuses to take responsibility for a product that failed and broke two other products and this is why I'm shooting on my Samsung S21 Plus. <laughs> because two of the cameras are not functioning correctly. And yeah, it's been a problem. So, and Sunway Photo refuses to answer to the emails as a brand, a company. And I still respect them. But I think they are literally intimidated by what I do and how I review their products. And, it, and this is why I, I review it, because I want them to grow. You got to improve on the product itself. Because from doing my research, most of your products are five, four years old. The recent new ones are accessories to like cameras, like a collar that can, you can go Hunter Zongli or landscape, right? They got all these other adapters and stuff that just came out. But they tripods, they, yeah. It's time to innovate. And when I asked to innovate about something, and I gave, mind you guys, I got a schematic drawing of a, of a slider, an electric slider. And, it, 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 and they said, oh, we, I have to submit this sometime 2026. I was like, what? But the point is, everyone, is that in all transparency, I'm doing everything I can to support myself and I want people to see the struggle and how I'm struggling to do it. If I really wanted to hide the struggle, I wouldn't never go live stream at all. So with that said, everyone, I just want people to see the struggle in real time. I want people to know that like, I'm not abusing the American system like most people are. I'm not taking advantage of mental health services like some people are. I'm not abusing welfare or EBT, whatever you want to call it here, 
Some countries call it different things. I'm not abusing services. I'm not robbing people. I'm not game banging. I'm not sl I'm not beating up conductors on the subway like you recently have heard about the conductor that was slashed while doing his job early in the morning hours. You got all these robberies, all these shootings, and, and now today in Crown Heights, there's been four shootings and a 13-year-old boy was shot multiple times, everybody. Coming from the basketball game at the Barkley Center, and he's supposed to be with other students and other kids, but apparently he's by himself, and apparently, yeah. Who shoots up a 13-year-old boy multiple times? It's dangerous out here, everyone. And Bill Lewis is not even in this situation, but he lives in the L.A. area, everybody. He lives in the, down, he lives in the L.A. area. So he should know how it, how it is, but I guess he's too... He's too rich or too, and too stubborn to realize what really is going on in the real world. He doesn't turn on his television, everyone. He only, he only turns on his phone and his laptop just to watch or try to watch my content. And that goes for anyone else that watched my content. My content is not here to hurt you. What have I done to hurt you? Think about that. Did I did... What did I do to, 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 to disturb your peace? Other than tell you a story. What's so hard from listening to someone? And that's the problem. People don't want to listen. People don't want to read anymore. You know how many times I went into that Starbucks yesterday? When I went into the Starbucks yesterday, <laughs> yesterday? You know how many times I saw people go into the employee's door with the cold handle on it? Ever go to Starbucks? You, got, you see the handle on the employee's door? It always has the barcode thingy on it. Okay. And it says a ploy on it. You know how many times I saw people walk to that door and thought it was the bathroom? I would say about 17 times yesterday. And the lady that works there was like, I know you're laughing. I was like, I'm like, Is that, does that happen quite often here? She goes, quite often. I was like, people don't read, do they? They're like, no. I was like, it clearly says employees. <laughs> and this is why I want to ask why are people not taking the time to discover a new sense of life from other people what they are going through after the pandemic this is how this is the aftermath of the pandemic everybody we were doing good during the pandemic then we had a fell back during the pandemic because they closed all the hotels and hostels and motels in, in the California area, if you guys remember that, <laughs> a lot of travelers had to sleep outside. And that was not pleasant. Especially in San Francisco, Tenderline, very dangerous. But we survived. I survived all of that, everybody. But Bill Lewis doesn't want to tell you that. He doesn't want to share those stories. No one wants to share those stories. They want to just tell you, I'm just begging for money and excellent. It's not begging, sir. It's called, can you support me and support my channel? Can you support what I'm doing? Because I'm definitely documenting it myself, but I'm also telling a story as a journalist. I'm also bringing some forthcoming as a photographer, but also being the person that I am as a human being. But I don't know what to do other than tell the story and tell people why I don't want to work for the man. Well, I do want to work for the man, but not the man that I once worked for. I don't want to go through that. And what's so hard and what's so wrong for an individual to say, I want to do something for myself now. I want to start my, I want to start my official own business. I want, to, I want to make a name for myself this time. I want to do something that I want to feel happy, comfortable. I feel happy, everybody. I feel comfortable shooting photography. It helps with my mental health. You don't understand. Every time I take a shot and I get the shot right, I'm dancing, I'm moonwalking. I'm, people are walking down the street and laughing, seeing me and smiling, knowing that I feel good about the photograph. And I was like, you must have got a good shot. I was like, I sure did. <laughs> and it feels great to get shots and capture the moment and get the moment that you deserved to capture so you can tell your own side of the story. But no, everyone wants to just 
try to like push it back down on me, Fran. I don't quite understand that. Why are you trying to make my homelessness even much difficult when it shouldn't be that difficult? You should be embracing that I'm even out here telling this story because there's no one doing it but myself. I'm not saying there's not, I'm not applying that there's not another YouTuber that is homeless out there. But no, there's a YouTuber out there, they're doing their own thing in their own way because they feel empowered to do their own way now. Before, they didn't feel this empowerment. And now, you want to take that empowerment away. That is called structure, friend. That is called way of boot and bring structure to yourself, mental health wise. I talk to a psychologist half the time. Her name is Yuki. <laughs> she tells me these things, what I need to do, and also other people. People I meet out on the New York street, and they see them when I'm like out and about, like the daily, like the, like the young lady that walks her dog every morning and she sees me and she's like, I can't believe you're literally out here in the freezing cold. Are you not bothered? I was like, and I tell her this, I'm a Wisconsinite. We're the toughest that there is. And she goes, she goes, huh, but I seen your videos. You're not, you're technically, you're originally a, 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 a zombie descendant, but you're born in, in the States. But, and I thought I was just telling her, like, but I wasn't born in Wisconsin. I just, I like Wisconsin. It was, it's pretty freaking nice and peaceful. I'm just going to say this right now. There's, there are times where Madison, at most of the time, it is peaceful, enjoyable. But my friend Francisca used to own Morris and Ramen with her husband, Morris Ramen. And they just had to close down Morris Ramen. Yeah. It's all on Instagram. Look at it, everybody. Morris Ramen, Madison, Wisconsin. Google it. They had to close their doors because they can't financially support it anymore. The bills, the rent, the course. Yeah. So, if, if think about this, everyone. If they're struggling to keep business open, what makes you think... I'm not going to struggle to keep myself alive as a single individual, an occupant, living alone. Think about that. I'm going to, and mind you, I'm not age 44, I'm not young, I'm not in my 20s. Most employers don't even think I have the energy to feel energetic, embracing the scene. They don't even think. Half the time when I interview or see these interviewees, that interview individuals, they don't think you have at the age. When you hit a certain age requirement, they look at you like, do you feel power? Do you feel encouraged? Do you feel like you can jumpstart everything? And when you when you say, yeah, I can do that, yeah. But you gotta say it with enthusiastic. Like, you gotta mean it. Because these employers don't think you mean it half the time. And this is why what makes things complicated when getting hired from an employer. It's not my attitude. My attitude is just fine. If I can talk to Korean, Chinese, Japanese, uh, everyone in this neighborhood, including people in the store, they see me all the time walking in the store to get tea and a snack. They're like, hey, Panda. They even know me by Panda. <laughs> everyone, even Starbucks, knows me by Panda. Everyone in this neighborhood knows me by Panda. Where you been, Panda? Are you, are you out there outside? Come on, like, literally, Starbucks giving me free hot chocolate? And asking me, hey, you don't drink milk, right? You drink almond, right? Or, oi, I'm like, it's almond. It's just like, I got you on the hot chocolate. I'm like, really? It's on, yeah, sometimes it happens. You see that, everyone? Because I'm not committing crimes. I'm not starting beef out here. Sometimes I struggle, and sometimes I don't make money. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when people make an assumption that I'm berating and I don't do good photography, that's one thing you are wrong about. I do the best photography that I can do to emphasize what I can do with nothing. I'm doing this with nothing. 
Are you telling me I can't execute it? You can't even shoot some of the difficulty shots that I shot. Can you do a motion shot blur with a, with a bicyclist like I did? No, you can't. Because you wouldn't know how to start off to do it in the first place. This is why I ask everyone to please go to my video, go to my Instagram, The Panda Photographer, or everything's down in, in the descriptions below, all right? Go down to my Instagram and go check out my work. Go to my website, go check out my work. It's all there. Go check out my last like review on Sunway Photo product. I did, a, I did a film review, pretty much. I wanted to do something different, so I started off telling a story. And yes, I put Japanese contacts in there because I now want to actually attract again my Japanese audience again. So you will be seeing more Japanese content, more translation on my videos. So take it, take it with a grain of salt, everybody. And James gave us two dollar euro super chat. Thank you. Appreciate the super chat. Ugh. But like now, and it's cold, and it's gonna warm up, which is a good thing. But it doesn't mean anything because I already did. I already suffered the worst of the worst. Everyone got got frostbite on my feet. Mind you, everyone. It's been a, a really big struggle. I've been sick twice. I'm coming down off the, the, the virus now. Trying to stay warm, everybody. It's a very key part element. But also trying to not stay in a warm climate all the time also helps. Because you just like... It, I, I, I'm noticing that when I'm inside for too long and I go outside, I just get sick again. <laughs> so this is why I'm always constantly moving outside most of the time or trying to move outside or staying outside because why sit inside all the time when you can be doing something, taking a photograph or something, logging something, taking, taking photos of this or making video of products, which mind you everyone, some way photo is never going to probably going to send me another product ever again because they feel intimidated by my reviews and by what I said. Criticism is needed. I get criticized all the time. I'm getting criticized because I want to live and start my life over, which I've been trying to do slowly. And everyone thinks that is, you, you, you should have done this. I should have been done getting starting over within six months. While people are losing their homes and house and their apartments and their jobs, you, there are some folks out, out there that literally think that it literally takes six months to recover. No. Not when you have an economic crisis on your hands. Not only that, you have a migrant crisis, a homeless crisis. <laughs> and you got a president that's just opening the doors for anyone to just come in. Thank you for that, Mr. Biden, for opening your door. Just telling the world, come on in. That's what he just said, everyone. Come on in. You walk him here, you walk him here, you walk him here. Yeah, even you, even you bad guys are welcome here too. Then you got a mayor that wants to give out $1,000, $1,000 debit prepaid cards. When I'm saying to myself, like, I see and I get that program, which is a pilot program, but... Why no one come up with this idea when the homeless crisis was an issue here? That's because there's money money to be made. <laughs> Behind all this, there's money to be made, everybody. Believe it or not. There's always money to be made from all this turmoil and mischief that's been taking place. So with that tell everyone, yes, I'm houseless, and yes, I'm homeless, and yes, I'm a photographer that wants lived just like you, been like you, just decided like I'm at age of 44, I got so much wisdom now, I'm like, I can tell you everything that you need to know about certain things now, before I didn't learn all of this, but it took time to learn, years, years, 44 years to do it, 
and still got some time left. That's if people just stop and leave me on the heck alone. Leave me alone. Let me tell my story. Let me get the support that I need. Let me keep doing what I'm doing. Because you don't and you never know when this thing that I'm doing might become a pilot for a TV show. Or it might become the next best thing for an actually a reality show. You don't know that. You can't sit here and say, you God, you can predict time. You know what's going to happen to me. No. No one's God and, there's, and I am not a person that believes in religion. I'm a person that does not care for religion because for me, I believe that it's all, it's all conflict. Everybody says you got to be this. Everyone wants you to be this and this is, th and this is that and this is this. I don't want to be no part of it. I don't want to be part of no religion. Why, why can't be for the people of the people entirely? Why can I not just enjoy my, myself just as a person without being tied to a religion? Because I really, not saying that I don't believe in a religion, I just think after discovering and realizing in all religion there is war and conflict, I don't want to be a part of it. Even though I'm already part of it, I just don't want it to be a part of me. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh well, Christianity is the best and and you atheists are just like blah, 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 all over the fucking place and you guys don't know what, what you want to be. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be here and commentate that kind of st behavior or hip criticize someone. I'd rather criticize for what people do on the streets in New York City or in Madison, Wisconsin or in California, San, San Francisco. I'd rather criticize people for not doing the right thing. Tell an audience and, and broadcast and tries the defamation of character on my website, everyone, by leaving a nasty review. I hope Google can see the transparency in his review that this is not a review. This is a biased, harassed comment. It must be removed. It's not emphasizing, did you buy anything from this person? Did you purchase a print? Did you get any services from this guy? If you, didn't, if you cannot explain in detail those main factors when reviewing a website or someone's photography business or any business at, at that, then your comment should be removed. And I think Google should do it. But then again, Mr. Everybody, PayPal also should remove him because he violated the terms of service and used the platform to abuse me by sending me 10 cents, everybody. That's twice he sent me 10 cents. And he thinks it's all funny. Mind you, everyone, I am not bothering anyone. I'm not stalking anyone. I'm not harassing anyone unless it's Alex Hankey, the con artist that just suddenly disappear because like literally friend, it's not over. There you go. He showed his two colors, not once but several times in live streams. Everyone has a right to ask for a helping hand. But I guarantee you his his the hypocrite part about Americans. And I'm going to say this right now. You'll donate your money to any freaking outside cause, but you won't help and donate to an American cause. An inside domestic cause. But you donate to some charity that you never heard of and now it's on television. You'll donate to help this and help that war or this war, but you won't help donate to your domestic use of helping people in need. Think about the hypocritical part about that, everybody. How hypocritical is that? And this goes for every other country too, but mainly America. You claim you want to help people, you want to fix these problems, but your money, you rather spend your money on supporting wars. 
and supporting other people's fights and other people's political bullcrap. And when it comes down to homelessness, it's like, eh. But when it comes down to someone that's trying to tell you a story about homelessness, that not everyone that's homelessness is chronically a problem. Because statistics says that most people think that homeless men and women have a drug problem or alcohol problem. That is statistically fucking wrong. It never starts off with a drug problem half the time. It never starts off with an alcohol problem half the time. You know what it starts off? When friends and family betray trust. And then you get betrayed, you get robbed, you get depressed, you start doing drugs. You start being misbehaving. You start realizing people don't care, so you give up. Where is the mental health support there? Right there is where mental health support should come in. Family should come in, and a, a, a intervention should co take place, but no, nothing takes place. No one comes to your savior. No one comes to your need. No one comes to your aid. You have to either ask for it, and when you ask for it, you're being criticized for it. And then when you need it, and you go to a service, like the city, you still get criticized for asking for services because they judge you. Like, have you been working the last six months? Well, and yes and no. Uh, do, can we see your last six months of big statement? But why? We just, you see how you get criticized? It's, 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 they're doing their job, but you see how the, the job re revolts into criticizing people on who qualifies for services? You see how that invokes into that? You guys got to understand it's a college education fund. And that's what Bob, Lo Mr. Bill Lewis is doing. You are trying to destroy my platform, just like the rest of his gang of, of dislike buddies. Told him I'll go find a job. And like, dude, I've worked all of my life since I was freaking 12 years old. <laughs> Get out of here, friend. You've probably never had a job at 12. <laughs> I had to earn my right. I had to earn my way. <laughs> the f Get out of here, friend. This is the disgraceful part. I've worked all my life and to tell, have some grown-ass adult tell me to go find another job that I can when everyone else is trying to find that dream job as of right now. The perfect job right now is what people need right now. They don't need some job that's going to be six months. Nine months or probationary 90 days temporary work, I can find those easy, right? And get it, probably, right? But everybody wants to find a gene job where they can retire 20 years from now, save more money up. <clears throat> but I'm being criticized for taking care of myself put myself to a, a screen graft surgery. Mind you, I had a patch on my eye and I had to get my eye fixed. I, all that costs money. How you, how you think I'm healed now? You think this naturally healed on its own and I was a miracle boy? I had to pay money to order to heal myself. Where do you think it went? And then I get criticized when I get robbed here, and I got stuck here, think about that, everybody. This is 2021 winter. November, they actually got robbed on the 31st of October, but now it starts November 2nd, right? It kicks in. I got no sleeping bag, no coat, no jacket. I got a backpack, another backpack, and some other stuff, but they took the backpack with my daughter's ashes in it, her prey bees, they took my attire. It took at least $7,000 worth of Japanese attire. It took some bow ties. It took a very expensive stuff. But most importantly, they took the passports, the traveler's checks. What are they gonna do with the traveler's checks? I already signed them. They probably threw them away and didn't realize what they can, they can just 
put them in the mailbox and someone from the post office would have probably would have called me or called the bank and said we found these traveler checks and it, can you please investigate who these belong to that's the, the smartest thing they could have done with those traveler checks but no they probably trashed them but guess what to everyone for our to for November December January February March we were sleeping outside in the cold, freezing snow. Mind you, everybody, we took whatever traveler's check money we had left and whatever money we had left in the bank account. We got a hotel near the LaGuardia Airport. Remember that? It was the only hotel that would take me without an ID because I tried to tell them I don't have an ID. Every hotel I went said I needed a freaking ID. I didn't have an ID. How am I supposed to prove who I am? And the only hotel that took me in, and they took it in because I said, listen, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, watch these videos, please, here's my website, this is who I am. I just got robbed not too long ago, and, and listen, I don't have ID. And they, I, I explained to them, they watched my videos, they saw my work, and the manager said, yeah, sure, but do you have something in collateral you can give us? I was like, you can take my phone. So I gave them my phone. So there you go. Gave them my phone for collateral. So with that tell everyone, you see how difficult that was for me, not for you, but difficult for me. Because right after that whole 10 days in the hotel, reality checked in again. We had to sleep outside again in the freezing cold and the wet weather. And then we got a donation from a Canadian neighbor. $5,000. We paid our debt. We got the cameras from B&H. Used. But in great condition. We even got the passports with all that was $5,000. And mind you, I got the passport in one day. I got the U.S. passport, I got the EU passport in two days. And it cost me, for the EU, it cost me uh, 470 euros. And for the, for the U.S. passport, it cost me $420. Yes, you can get a passport same day if you have all your paperwork and you can vouch who you are. And that's what I was determined to do with that money. And I got my passport same day on May the 17th I believe it was 2021 so I just want everyone to realize that what happened and then what we did what did we do when we got our identification everybody we went straight to the New York City press center's office and we asked them for a job and I said oh if you want to do a job assignment here is assignments that you can do and if you want to contribute you contribute so I did 15 assignments, I got a press pass, I had to get validated by NYPD, everybody. The clearance check is a validation, mind you, everybody, the clearance and certification process goes through NYPD. So, Mr. Bill Lewis, you said I'm a fraud, right? But background checks and everything goes through NYPD. They would have never gave someone like me, a because it literally states on their website, if you were convicted of a fraud or doing fraud, you wouldn't. You're not eligible to receive a press pass. <laughs> it literally says on their website. So this is why I want people to read between the lines carefully before you make judgment. I'm being very transparent. I know I'm not on camera because it's cold and my hands are cold. I've been out here and I got these gloves and even they are cold. And I'm trying to keep my hands in my pocket to stay warm because the cage that I'm using from Sunway Photo is freaking freezing cold and not only just cold but uh, I'm sniffing <laughs> so with that tell everyone I just want everyone to understand that you can support this channel there's a PayPal cash at Rimbo it does help every day if I wake up and there's someone donates ten dollars in the middle of the night that's hot chocolate for me and that's a vegan croissant or a vegan muffin for me in the morning for breakfast that's not a bad, that's not a bad deal. That someone watched my video and then liked my video and wanted to donate $10 just because, oh, he said he had a link in the descriptions. Okay, sure. Because 
How many times people have asked me that in the comments? Hey, where can I support? What link can I go? And I keep telling everyone, all the links are in the descriptions down in the descriptions below. All the time. It used to do that all the time. When I just do the live streams and the live events, which is going to happen this year in New York City, because I'm going to have to, mind you everyone, I'm going to have to renew this pass and renew my assignments. So I already got some assignments already done. I've been doing off and on when I can, but lately I've been sick. I've been trying to come down off this sickness, but I also have been trying to feed myself and find work. But lately it's been very difficult when people are not very understanding of my situation. And I'm gonna be honest right now, like somebody was saying like, I smell a little bit. I was like, no, I do not friend. That's just mildew from the coat from the rain. Yes, that was just a smell mildew. Yeah, I got caught in the rain. I had no choice. <laughs> I could have gone under a scarf for a train station, but I wasn't near one. So, because I had to stand near the community refrigerator that doesn't have a scalping for over it. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep going to these community refrigerators to go find subsidence for my needs. And this is why everyone, I keep telling everyone, sometimes I just don't ask you for donation. I just don't, I just don't eat for a whole full day. Sometimes I just wait till the next day. If I find something, that one meal, that would be my meal for the day. And doing that, it's not healthy, especially when your health is not in good condition. You shouldn't, I shouldn't be forcing myself to eat once every two days or every other three days. But it's not up to me. It's up to the people of New York City, up to the people of any city, if they have any community refrigerators, if they want to donate to those community refrigerators. Not everyone has the ability to donate to those community refrigerators. Like I said the other day, I stood outside for 12 hours in front of the community fridge and no one showed up. I even took a nap, slept in the sleeping bag, and no one showed up. And I was like, wow, this, this, this community fridge must be not a very good place at all to come to. Or people just don't know about it. It was confusing. So... With that tell everyone, I'm just dealing with my mental health right now because this is affecting me. Bill Lewis and all the people that dislike my videos and, and dislike and tell a, a fake narrative story that how I'm defrauding people. I'm not defrauding anyone because if I was, why am I not, why am I not the one running? But everyone else is like you are running. You won't even show your... This is the thing about people like Bill Lewis and everyone else. You use the internet as your weapon. But the weapon is against you when you pretty much post and leave a paper trail on the internet. I did that on purpose. I want people to find me. I want people to acknowledge me. I want people to discover me. Why do you think I leave all these paper trails in these videos? Because I want people to find me. Because guess what? I don't have the luxury of friends. If I have friends, where are they? I don't have any friends here. Where are they? That's why I keep telling everyone. I don't have friends. I, I got only myself and the internet. And if, if the internet wants to be a friend of mine, it can be. But not everyone is going to be a friend. And like I said, Bill Lewis is not a friend. You don't, you don't attack someone's way of life and then attack their new foundation by just trying to destroy it because you felt like, I don't deserve a chance in society. Who gives you the right to make that decision? And this is why I ask them, what did you do to accomplish? What did you do to help anyone? Because I can prove I have helped a lot of people during my course of my time. What have you done to help people? And you must show the proof of it, like I have done. You must show the proof. If you can't show the proof, then it can't be verified. This is why you're supposed to keep an archive of it. So with that tell everyone, 
a man that never contributes to a man that wanted to contribute, but under his discretion, everybody, he wanted to abuse my channel, to abuse his words, as he abused the audience and myself. Just like everyone else that dis disagrees with my, my choice of living in this situation. I, why? Because I'm not, because what? Why? Because I don't want to be on EBT. I don't want to be on welfare. I don't want to use the system. I don't want to. I don't want to ever be that fucking false statistic. You wanted me to be that stupid statistic, that narrative that is so incorrect statistic, that census statistic bullcrap. Come on, friend. Get out of here, man. This is bull. This is it's, this is idiocracy. How you guys betrayed yourselves. You want me to be on welfare? No, I'd rather be independent than being on a system that people abuse as it is that's right now. As a taxpayer, I deserve it, yes. You deserve it, yes. But I don't want to be on a system that is already being criticized. Oh, you EBT can afford. People look at you as if you, you, you never made it in life. EBT is for people that, that are hard on hard times. It shouldn't be questioned. I'm saying it should never be questioned for someone to be getting assistance. Do you do you think I would be able to get the fake reviews taken down? I have no idea. When there's when there's dumb teenagers nearby, there's always a gunfight. So let's not get involved in a gunfight. <laughs> Nigga.